First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakudash, the bonus to the elders and the Paul's Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. And uh, we're the brothers over here in GMS Tampa, uh, Tampa Bay. I'm the brother Miyakala, got the brother Kwon. And uh, going to our Almost Home series, uh, this title, This Almost Home, is going to be uh, The Lord is Not a False Balance. And uh, as we know, uh, corner prophecy, you know, great judgment is coming like to the likes I've never seen before on the earth. Uh, the same token, the Lord's going to make uh, or bring a great salvation like the world's never seen before. You know, in that small remnant, that number, the Lord chosen going to his, his elect, which are the elect of the so called Native Latinos, Native Americans. And uh, as we see this current setup, uh, Joel 9 24 tells you that the earth is given into, given into the hand of the wicked. This devil is um, it's never enough. He's missed to do too much. And with these wicked decrees he's pushing on the planet earth, uh, he's pushing ultimately uh, the Lord. Uh, to ultimately intervene because that's what we're ultimately waiting for the hopeful elect we're waiting for the intervention of Yahweh Basham Shai on the right hand side that's why if um, you can get you about to get some? yeah Done. you want uh, me to get some for you? yeah get uh, Psalm 37 and 7 okay because um, that's why our patience in Yahweh Basham Shai you know the devil trying to move quick you know uh, and get this thing rolling going to the new world order trying to get everybody chipped mm -hmm. um, but it's not going to come to pass as far as getting the elect the people that he really needs to chip He's not going to get to because uh, the Lord preserved them to be preserved. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. They're not going to be see to take that thing. But yeah, get that real quick. Con, this is Psalms 37, <laughs> verse uh, 7. Yeah. Rest in the Lord Yahweh mm -hmm. and wait patiently for him. Yep. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Yep. So who's prospering in the way? The wicked. And the head of wicked be Esau, Edom, and all the likes that join on to him hand in hand, which goes into the best of our people, two thirds. Uh, because scriptures say um, uh, rebellion as, as a sin of witchcraft. Those that don't turn from transgression in Jacob are right, being given you so-called names like the Americans. You're considered wicked because you don't do what the Lord says to do. Right. You right. start to start worshiping uh, other gods, man, mm -hmm. by the way of your actions. Because right. what the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes, uh, the 12th and 13th uh, verse, it says what? Fear the most high and keep his commandments. So that's the conduct. That's the code. That's the conversation. That's mm -hmm. the, you know, that's the, the model of how to conduct yourself as being an Israelite, man. Mm -hmm. But because Jake wants to wander off his eyes is uh, one time, okay, he what? He tends to uh, go uh, far left field, man. Mm -hmm. Which is what? Him going far into the left field on the east of Edom, pushing the agenda, which is ultimately. Uh, uh, it's getting ready to uh, 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 exalt the right hand, man. You know, that's what we. That's the times that we're coming into, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you see all this left hand activity going on, mm -hmm. there is a, a reason why. Okay, because the Lord is getting ready to exalt the right hand, man. Mm -hmm. Psalms thirty-seven and continuing on verse uh, seven, mm -hmm. it says, "Rest in the Lord, Yahweh, and wait patiently for Him." Yeah. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Yep, so that's why I go into the hour of temptation. The Lord said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee. I mean, he's going to protect you. He's going to cover you right. in the time to come. You know, when the hour of temptation comes and, and really is fully implemented, when his devil makes that wicked decree, the ultimate wicked decree, right. which is pushing forth that chip. Okay, Revelation 13, chapter 16 on down, going to that karagma. All right, you take that, that thing, okay, that you're going to be destroyed, you know. And that's plain, cut, and simple in the scriptures. We read the 14th chapter. But if you want some words, you know, finish that out. Time. Gotcha. Okay. It said, time. Uh, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. There you go. That's, so that's Esau. He's the one pushing this thing forward on a high level. All right. Last year with the whole pandemic thing, he was the forefront. He blamed over there in China, you know, the, the gooks, Moab, you know, for starting this thing by a bat. You know, the spiritual thing behind that too. You know, ultimately, he's going into his uh, his left hand side witchcraft uh, in his communication, which he does in wickedness, trying to push forth his new world order. You know, and this thing is not going away yeah. because this is his agenda. He really been uh, given an impossible task, which the Lord gave him, but he's going to continue on because of his pride. So his pride has deceived him. You know, but it says, you know, fret not ourselves because this, this, this dude putting forth these wicked decrees. Because why ultimately, uh, which we're going to go ahead and grab. Of course, he's got some good chores. But uh, probably 11 and verse 1. But can you grab the pieces we got? Yeah, just real quick. Come. I just want to bring this out for you. I was reading down on verse 9. It says, For evil doers 
shall be cut off. And what did y'all say? He said the meek shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. So that's why scripture says seeds for wrath, man, because it's not a, it, this is not a battle of you. This is not a battle for you Israelites, man. This battle is against uh, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and who he set up, okay? All right, to be the uh, uh, the ten toes, man. Okay, the feet mixed with iron clay. Okay, because it's here to say the earth is given into the hands of, uh, of the wicked. So the Lord is getting ready to demote and promote, and promote man. Yeah. It's here to say promotion come not from the uh, from the east nor from the west. So the Lord is getting ready to demote this man. So the boss, the, heaven, the heavenly boss, okay, all right, is getting ready to step down and, and move this man out of power. But before that, this man is going to go out and, and accuse everybody, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, verse 9, it says, uh, For evildoers shall be cut off. So the Lord has a date where this man going to be cut off. Job 14 and 5, right? It says, But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. So the key word in that is uh, wait, man. Which wait is patience because you understand that it's not about you. One thing about this truth, when you come into this truth, yeah, the Lord is going to give you an increase in the knowledge, increase in wisdom, increase in understanding on the right hand side. But the Lord is going to put you on that on that level, okay? Because it's not uh, it's not about you; it's about Him making this test move. See, and that's what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down are, okay? And brothers and sound doctrine are in this cap in this captivity, okay? We are test moves of the, mo of the most high on the right hand side. Before the Lord actually move, okay? The Lord is setting up his his he's he's putting you niggas in te uh, checkmate, uh, Esau, okay? But that's it on there. Proverbs 11. Yes, sir. Proverbs 11, verse 1. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, mm -hmm. but a just weight is his delight. Yep. So, how we open up with Psalm 37, you know, fretting on ourselves because of evil doers and then that bring wicked device to pass, you know, him and those wicked decrees. The Lord said, Woe unto him, you know, that right uh, wicked decrees. You know, so uh, going into again the balance of the counsel of the Lord is with the same, you know, man in power. Proverbs 16 and 4, Proverbs 16 and 4 says, The Lord made all things for himself and the wicked for the day of evil. It bounces, you know, going into again, um, really the decrees that this devil's putting out. It's the Lord's going to bring a balance and going to decrees he's going to put out on the right hand side is ultimately sending out a shot, you know, uh, this devil putting forth, you know, the, the uh, venom juice as we speak now, you know, making it mandatory, slowly pushing upon people, and uh, eventually again making that chip mandatory again, which is the MOTB. You know, the Lord's going to make right, right, righteous right hand decrees, left hand decrees again, the Lord's a just balance, and that goes into the law. Um, you know, about just balances and just weights. If I you can grab it, if I think it's in Leviticus uh, 19. Yeah, Leviticus 19, 19 and verse like 35. Yeah, you know, because all, and probably another one, uh, Proverbs 16. But grab that Leviticus real quick. Because, you. you know, because again, the, the Lord's going to lift up a standard, you know, uh, which also that's what we're waiting for because the Lord, at what Psalm 37 is read, you know, said, Rest in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, our comfort, you know, and our patience is waiting on y'all, brush, try to make that move on the right hand side, you know. Yeah, real quick. Uh, uh, Leviticus, uh, beautiful, bro. Le Leviticus 19, verse 35. He shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Yep, so the Lord is not unrighteous. He said he's not unrighteous to forget our works in the neighbor of love. You know, us standing and fighting, you know, standing up in great boldness for his name, you know, being hated of all men uh, for his sake, you know, proving ourselves worthy, you know, to escape these times to come by our faith. You know, so the Lord looking down and making judgment upon the earth, he sees the wickedness and he sees the righteousness. Our righteousness is by our faith. And we're going to judge every man according to his ways, you know. So, again, us being hopeful elect and turn our lives back on to our Bashar Shai and true sincerity, uh, verse and righteous acts, you know, we got a day with Toma coming up, you know, we, we rehearse these things and we uh, pretty much tap it back into our heritage because this is the heritage of our of, of like, us, like which we said, lost. Like Go you on. said, when we was uh, building earlier, going to the store, you know, this is a gift, man. Everybody's not given this opportunity to, to actually tap into this understanding, man. So this is a, a, a beautiful, a beautiful thing, bro. Because what, what we're investing in, how about some shots? Getting ready to be shown, bro, on the right hand side, bro. Mm -hmm. So like you said, you know, going to the lesson, the false balance is an abomination because if the Lord exalted this man on the left hand side, how much more on the right hand side? Because mm -hmm. the scriptures say His right hand shall bring salvation. You know, roughly paraphrasing. So what we're doing, we're investing into immortality, bro. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, so much, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go. yeah uh, uh, continue on uh, a little bit. Probably read the next verse. Okay, read again, and then uh, read like what was it? Uh, Thirty six. Yeah, come. Kind. I start from thirty five on the top. Leviticus nineteen verse thirty five. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, mm -hmm. in meteor, in weight, yeah. or in measure. Yeah. Just balance, just weights, mm -hmm. a just ephah, mm -hmm. a just hint. 
shall he have. I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Yep, so that's his word. And the Lord's not going to break his word for nobody. So right. the Lord makes judgment. Right. He's going to make righteous judgment. Right. You know, so again, going to Tosh lesson, the Lord's not a false balance. Know this devil is going on the left-hand side, but how much more the right-hand side. Right. You know, uh, Bible shot, grab uh, Proverbs 16 and 11. I got you. Proverbs chapter 16 mm -hmm. and verse 11. Yes, sir. And it reads, A just weight and balance mm -hmm. are the Lord's, Yahweh. Exactly. All the weights of the bad are his works. All the, all, read that again. <laughs> kind of. Proverbs 16, verse 11. A just weight and balance yes, are the Lord's, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. All the weights of of the bag are his works. All the weights of his bag, all the bag of are his work. All the weight. So all the weight. The wicked, the righteous, all the weight. You know, it's all the Lord's. You know? So going into again the just balance of just weights, his devil is going hard. And he's gonna go even harder. Relation 12, 12 tells you that. He's gonna go hard trying to push forth this wicked decree because yeah. pride is deceiving and pride is a monster. This nigga's not gonna stop till he stopped. That's why it says, Let him uh him that let it will let till he's taken out of the weight. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I just wanted to bring this out real quick because backing you up because the weight, you know, it goes it, it goes deep, man. Cause Jake actually believed, you know, that you know the Heavenly Father do not exist. Mm -hmm. But the weight of the, the the Lord have measured everything in a weight, meaning the, the deep sea, yeah, the Jake. things that are not searched out, mm -hmm. your deepest thoughts, every individual, how you start, when you coming out, how you gonna look. Every step you going to take, bro, like the Lord is deep, bro. The Lord waited out, bro. The Lord waited everybody out, bro. Yeah. Okay? And, and, and that's the beauty of, of this lesson because, bro, we're, we're actually showing you how the left hand is getting ready to take a, 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 a undefeated right blow, bro. Mm -hmm. A right hook that you can never, no nation stopped. Exactly. Okay? Start uh, Daniel's the second chapter. Mm -hmm. King Nebuchadnezzar couldn't stop the right hook, bro. Okay? The Medio Persians, okay, the Romans, the Greeks, right? No, hey, all the way down to the uh, uh, the, uh, the feet, okay. Nobody is stopping that right hook, bro. Why? Because the Lord has measured you nations, man. In a way, a just balance, bro. Gave you a time to increase and gave you a time to fall. But the time that we're coming into is a time where Jake is gonna be on top forever. Start with Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord and our King Savior. All right, okay, uh, King David, all right, and the rest of the 12, man, you know, and the rest of the 144,000, that's something that you, 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 you nations have never experienced, bro, but it's a just way for us to go through this uh, on the left-hand side, man, to go through this, this, uh, our temptation, man, because we understand the greatness, we understand the, 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 uh, the glory that the Lord has presented for us, man. Yeah, yeah, come. Kind of, yeah, it's right here uh, in Leviticus that you wanted uh, for uh, slot. You got it? Yeah, come. Kind of, yeah, yeah, just. Kind of. Of course, that boy glitching out. <laughs> no, but that's sad because I can already you know, look, you know, pretty much see the spirit what you're going to go to. That's why going to, again, the just balance of the Lord is the Lord in the same year I was shy. You know, it says in righteousness do we judge and make war. So you go into balances, you know, ultimately goes into judgment. You know, so Lord again looking down and seeing the whole earth is out of course. Uh Sirach 10 and 10 and what? 10 and 4 says, uh, the proud of earth is in the hand of the Lord in due time we said one over that's profitable, and that's the Yahweh Shai to clear everything back in order. You know, you got it? Okay. Yeah. Come on. It says a uh, judgment, justice, ordinance. It says act of deciding a case. Yep. Yep. You speak any time, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, a sentence. Decision of judgment. Yep. So he's been weighed. He's, you know, uh, the writing on the wall. Daniel's fifth chapter. You know, and the, the, the writing on the wall is this man's done. Okay. He, again, we went into how this man had his. You know, he was brothers going into by the time that he rise up and to, to fall. Yep. You know, um, matter of fact, because again, going to those uh, the balance of, uh, of what's going to happen is Lord's going to make these righteous decrees. That's what we're waiting for. Get uh, Daniel uh, four eight and seventeen. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Lord is a mess, bro. Yes, and that's what these people are, are lacking or understanding of that yes. Heavenly Father, scriptures say, you know, the Lord, you know, Yahweh Bashmishai, his word endureth forever, bro. Daniel's 4 and 17. 
This matter is by the decree of the watchers. Yep, so this matter is by the decree of the watchers. Okay, Correct. the Lord's servants of prophets, which are the mouth the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bash Mashai. Right. So the devil putting out his decrees, you know, it says our relationship to chapter, he's uh, two ones like a land steal the dragon. Right. You right. know, he's been on his shit, he's, he's going in, you know, yeah. signing shit away, making this thing on uh, the, the condition of the earth even worse, you know? Yeah. So hey, uh, what's that in Isaiah forty seven? Stand now in the multitude of thy intentment. Yeah, this so in, bro. He 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 literally that scripture was written thousands of years ago. Yeah. And and Isaiah was prophesying of you devils, bro. And, and then guess what? You know John seventeenth chapter. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was he, he going like, in. He's literally on the right hand side of the right, father. He's in his right. ear. Balancing out. Saying, hey man, adjust balance. Exactly. Look out for mine elect. Yeah. You know, look yeah. out for them. Don't yeah. You, know, you can't pluck them out of I pray head. for them. I don't pray for the world. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Beautiful. Uh it says this matters by the decree or command of the watchers mm -hmm. and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. And set it up over it the basis of men. Yep. So as he set up the basis of men, he then set up who? Hey, the highest of men, which Yahweh said not a man no more. He's been upgraded. He said uh, he's not going to come back as a man. This is this is the new man. A bound. He's, he's going to bound forever. Yep. Because that's yeah. again that's what's been set up from the beginning. Yeah. You know this king has never been set up forever. It's been set up for a time to come and to pass. Right. You know, and that time to come to pass is now. You know. Uh, well, Isaiah 55, we probably close up there, but you got something. No, going to, uh, uh, is it Isaiah, Isaiah 55 going to Lord looking up the standard? Oh, I got you. Like, I got you. Yeah. I don't yeah. Like, it, but... 59, 59. So, okay, yeah. No, no, it's good. Hey, because, yeah. again, knowing that, again, the Lord's going to intervene, you know, uh, you know, going to the parable, you know, about um, the Lord's going to eventually select like, speedily, you know? He knows we're crying and sighing, you know, out for the abomination that done messed her up, and he thinks he's not going to defend those men. That are trying to stand up for him in, in, in true sincerity, making themselves a prey, making themselves like fools, you know, losing everything, you know, for his name because we believe, you know. So that's why we're really afflicted. But through that affliction, it says there's a, there's a shame that comes to glory and there's a shame that comes to destruction. Right. We're, we we're come, we came to that shame that because of, that's going to be uh, to glory. You know, those are going to be that number. Because to back you up, when your house side, when your house side gave up the spirit, when he said, "Into your hands, you know, I command my spirit." Right. You know, roughly paraphrasing, what did he receive? Glory in the temple rent, right? He received power, man. He sat down on the right hand side of, of the Heavenly Father. So, how much more us, bro? The Lord said, We're gonna do greater, we're gonna do more than come on, bro. We're gonna do more than Him, like it's, it's unfathomable, bro. That's why the scriptures say it's gonna be a greater deliverance. What we're getting ready to receive is go, words is not getting ready to be able to. Express how heavy this right hand getting ready to uh, 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 blow at you, uh, uh, Jakes, uh, you Jakes, and you Edomites, man. All you other nations, man. You know, words is not getting ready to express it, bro. Um, this is gonna be salvation. You got like 10 minutes on your phone. Okay. Yeah. You, you got a lot. Uh -huh. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So so shall they fear the, the name of the Lord. Yeah, but she may shy from the West. Yep, so they're going to learn to fear the Lord. You know, this devil's trying to push the fear of him, you know, because he's just a man, you know, trying to take your life away. But guess what? The Lord said, hey, our life is hidden. We're dead and our life is hidden in him. You know, so we don't care about this world. We care about the world to come. We're, we, care, we care about impressing our maker. You know, about him shy, you know, the Lord. In his glory from the rising of the sun, yep. when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, but Shem shall live up a standard against him. Yep, so that standard. Okay, again, going into the balance. The Lord will lift up a standard. He's not going to let this nigga win. Yeah, okay, the did. Lord. Exactly. Because the Lord said we're going to, you know, they're not going to get victory over that beast, over his mark, and over his image. You know, all you wicked women niggas out here, you're going to, hey, you're going to lose. And he left us up to win. You know, so that's pretty much it. You know, you know, brother's phone got so much memory. But, hey, they saw it's through the spirit. We finished the right time. No, it's cool. Because it, that's it, pretty much. You know, because we know this devil with this nigga, his, his balance is deceit. He loves oppression. But the Lord loves righteousness. He loves judgment. You know, and he's going to he's gonna be known again by the judgment he pushed forth on his planet Earth. Yes. By raising up his elect and, and, and throwing down the wicked. You mm -hmm. know, and setting up the order. Everything being restored from the beginning. You know, how it's intended to be. You know, uh, under Yahweh Shai and the rest of the, ultimately Israel as a whole. You know, two-thirds are not going to make it in this time to come, which we know. 
um, you know, but really it's about that first fruit, you know, and that mercy is going to be extended through them, the elect, and that's going to equate to the mercy of the rest of the world because it wasn't for the elect's sake, uh, no flesh should be saved, you know. So, you got anything? No. Okay, so with that, uh, those will be edifying as those only about praises. To Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Hamadash, the bonds against the elves and the pastor, Great Millstone. Peace and blessed to the elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.